Ladies and gentlemen, Mary Steenburgen. It was 1977. Uh, I was a young actress in New York City. Um, I had studied at the Neighborhood Playhouse and I had been waitressing like most people for about five and a half years. Someone sent me over to meet a casting director at Paramount and I said, are you casting anything in particular right now? And she said, well, I'm casting a film called Going South that Jack Nicholson's directing, but I can't get you in on it, I'm sorry. And I said, why not? And she said, well, we're seeing either really well-known actresses or very, very beautiful models. <laughs> and five and a half years of having no said to me and no one understand me and nobody recognized me all got to me and I was looking down at my feet, very depressed, when two feet enter the frame and there's an unmistakable voice that says, are you waiting to see me? And I suddenly realized that Jack Nicholson is in this office and is addressing me. And so my first instinct with my own peculiar brand of logic was, you don't look good today. You just came from a waitressing shift. Do not let this man see your face. Because if you can get back in here tomorrow, you might look really good tomorrow. And he might hire you. So, so I, I just looked down and he said, are you waiting to see me? And I said, no. And he said, you're not waiting to see me? And I said, uh-uh. He said, why not? And I looked up at him and I said, because I don't have a script. He later told me the top of my head was intriguing. <laughs> and, <laughs> but a couple of days later, I get a message. I'm to come out to Hollywood for a screen test. And I, um, I went in my first day at Paramount. My first moment on camera was a screen test. And it was this big black hanger of a room. And in the middle of it was a pool of light, and in the, in the middle of the pool of light was a big brass bed, and in the middle of the bed was Jack Nicholson. <laughs> so I had to get into that bed and do this scene with him that was a sort of morning after scene. So I did, and then my money after several days had run out. I booked my flight home because I had to get back to my waitressing shift at the Magic Pan by Friday night. <laughs> so I went over to Paramount. And I said, thank you so much for the experience of my life. It was really incredible. Um, could you just give me that hotel bill money in cash? Because I needed money to get from Kennedy into Manhattan. And Jack was smoking a great big cigar. And he looked at me and he said, don't worry about it, kid. You're on the payroll. So that was that. Jack, I want to say something to you that I said to you in Going South. Jack, for an outlaw, you've been a pretty good friend. <laughs>